Hello. So I got a box today. Um, this is something that I was going to have been waiting for for a little while. Um, got it from Element 14. I already opened it because, of course, it's awesome, but I will just show you quickly. Raspberry Pis. Not one, not two, but four Raspberry Pis. And they're included Adafruit um, power adapters. These are one amp. Um, it's from Adafruit Industries. They're pretty good power supplies. It's been powering our other Raspberry Pi for a while now. So you just one handed. So it's coming like a box like this. You open it up. Come in. Come in. Doing this one handed is exceedingly difficult. Aha. Plastic bag. And yeah. Now note, if you do decide to buy these, buy some um, USB cables too. Because this only comes with the charger. It doesn't come with a USB cable or anything. No, it's just the charger. And that's exactly why I have this bag over here, which I'm not going to open. It has four um, just USB um, to micro USB uh, on it. Now let's go look at one of these boards because they actually are quite a bit different from the ones, um, the old ones, the Model B. These are the Model B Plus. This is not just a Model B. Um, opening one handed. Let's go to the other side of the box. Okay. Have a wonderful look at Bitcoin trading for a second on my keyboard. Okay. So, open it up here, and you get the Pi and an anti static bag. And um, in the box, let's look at this, some of the features on the box here. Um, you got 700 megahertz Broadcom um, BCM 21835 CPU with 500 megabytes of memory, a 40 pin extended GPIO header for you hackers and modders out there that like to play with your GPIO, um, full size HDMI, four USB ports, and a micro SD slot. So, one second again. Don't fall over, phone. Please don't fall over. As you can see already, there are um, some differences. Um, one, the GPIO header is longer. Um, two, there is no, uh, what do you call it, RCA out and, um, or composite video out and audio. It's all rolled into this one connector here. This is, that both puts out um, video and audio. Um, you have your full size HDMI. The, um, as you can see here too, there's audio, there's more circuitry in the power supply section, and these actually use um, less power than the um, the Model B, which is even more awesome. Um, so yeah, you've got dedicated circuitry here and a dedicated power supply circuitry for um, your audio. So if you're running a home theater PC, that's amazing. Um, another thing is that this is moved to the other side of the board. Yeah. I'm just looking at my other one over there on the counter. Sorry if I'm shaking the camera. Um, you have then your ethernet and four USB ports. So you should be able to plug in um, your mouse and your keyboard without having any problems and um, has still have room left over for like a digital camera or whatever you use. Another really large um, difference is this. It uses a micro SD card instead of a full size SD card. And this is good for two reasons. One, micro SD cards are a lot smaller and reduce the footprint on the actual board. And two, you're not, um, because this socket is metal and it all the entire card fits inside there, 
you don't have to worry about some hanging off and possibly getting broken, which is a, I know was a problem with the, um, the other model. Um, as you'll also notice, there is a ton of voltage test points on the back of this, which is really awesome. But um, yeah, I'm going to be having another shipment coming in from NCIX, which has the rest of the stuff for this, which I will show when I get it. If I look over here, here's our other Raspberry Pi, which is up and running. You can see the differences. There is a couple. So, uh, but yeah, if I remember right, that the old ones used like 700 and something milliamps. This uses like four to 500 milliamps of electricity. I can't remember, but yeah. And another announcement is um, Paradox BTC um, is now running every one of their systems instead of um, on large servers. We're running them on these Raspberry Pis. And the reason why we did that um, was power savings. Um, it we wanted to also we wanted to help the environment obviously and not be using a ton of power because in the banking industry servers use most of the power and that increases your carbon footprint. Um, so we wanted something like this that was power efficient and um, not very costly. So we went with Raspberry Pis. That's why I bought four of them here. Um, so our servers, our backend systems are all going to be running on these. Um, which is great because the proceeds of buying them also go to the Raspberry Pi Foundation for charity, which is another really awesome thing. So all these systems will be running Raspbian, um, as well as some of our own customized software that I'm, I can't really talk about, but yeah. So that's pretty much the um, an unboxing, I guess you could say, of the uh, Raspberry Pi Model B+. Thank you for watching.